What's happening, gang? Welcome back to the divisional playoff round edition of Hashtag Ask Glazer. Great games this weekend, and the postseason's just great, isn't it? The whole time, the moment the playoffs begin until after the Super Bowl, just be a, ho a national holiday. That's how I look at it. It's all just holiday time. All right, let's get right into it, though. It's not just holiday time, but it's also head coaching hunting time. So, first up, Joe Beisel asks, Panthers any closer to getting a coach? Well, they're not because they still want to interview Sean Payton. That was put off last week. It's supposed to happen on Friday. They got pushed up to later this week as well. So, look, they wanted to interview Sean Payton. They have been interviewing offensive coaches also. D'Amico Ryans, you know, they reached out to him, but they weren't able to get their schedules in conjunction together. Steve Wilkes is still a name that they are considering for hiring as head coach as well. So I think after they interview Sean Payton, they'll have a better idea of where they want to go with second interviews. At Crescent Speak says, who do you think will be head coach of the year? So here's the thing. All right, obviously what Brian Dable's done, Nick Sirianni, I mean, how do you argue with that? Just incredible, right? Kyle Shanahan down to his third head coach. But listen, I, I know they got knocked out of the playoffs, but Sean McDermott, what he was able to do with his team, with you know getting them through the DeMar Hamlin situation, it was so much bigger than sports, so much bigger than football. But together, they brought this whole league and this whole nation together. I like what Sean McDermott's done this year. There's been so many great jobs this year. And look, Zach Taylor, you know, I, usually it's so hard to go back this deep in the playoffs when you're in the Super Bowl the year before because players start going, well, I'm the reason we were there. And everybody gets inside the minds of players and coaches and Man, you just you just don't have guys repeat like that. And besides the Patriots back in the day, obviously, but you see it there. The culture that Zach Taylor is building up to, he's a candidate. I know you want just one, but I think because of what Sean McDermott has done with the DeMar Ham, with his whole team and this, really the entire league, uh, helping them steer them through the DeMar Hamlin situation, probably give it to Sean McDermott. At Gary Gary 1979 says, will the Washington football team have a new ownership this year? Yes. And... Look, I think it's going to happen where it can get ratified at the league meetings in March, at the end of March. So that'll be interesting. And then, you know, that team there, it, it'll be so much different, obviously, what happens moving forward, not having Daniel Snyder on that team. So, yeah, I do think that it ends up getting done and gets done a lot sooner than we thought. So, you know, I'd said it earlier in the season. I think it gets done for you know, upwards of $7 billion, and then it gets voted on by the league owners at the ownership, the NFL uh, league meeting at the end of March. At Jackson of Aston 3S, Jay wondering if Tom Brady's gonna retire and join you and Gronk and Fox, or is he staying in Tampa or going somewhere else? Well, let's, we had Gronk on this week and he talked about it. And Gronk said, you know, he's probably icing his arm right now to come back, you know, at some point next year if he finds the right place that excites him. And if he doesn't, then he has this team that will excite him. But, you know, as Gronk says, who's as close to him as, as anybody, I don't even think Tom knows what Tom wants to do right now. And there's so many things that go into retirement because it's the finality of it. Football's different than any other sport. Basketball, you can continue playing three-on-three -three with your friends. Ice hockey, you can continue to skate around with your buddies, right? Baseball, you can go out there and still do stuff. Football, once you take that uniform off, it's done. It's over. So it's a different, I think, uh, mindset for NFL players because of the finality that they have to deal with. At Skylar Gillespie asked, who should win the MVP? Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he's just, and in, even the game he got hurt this past weekend, before he got hurt, he's making plays that are just, they're ridiculous. They're just, it's unbelievable. Jump passes, you know, throwing underhand, sidearm, overhand, this, that. He's ridiculous. So yeah, I go Patrick Mahomes. Lori Smith asks, will Patrick Mahomes be ready for the AFC game? So here's the deal. He has a high ankle sprain. That would normally put people out weeks and weeks. He had a similar injury a couple of years ago against the Jacksonville Jaguars. He didn't miss a game, right? And usually after a high ankle sprain, it's those days after they're awful. He woke up on Sunday and the team and Patrick Mahomes thought, wow, he's way better than we thought he was going to be when he, when he was going to wake up the next day. Because usually that next day is just awful. So it's just going to be a matter of how's it heal this week, how much swelling goes down, well, you know, he they've already x-rayed it and MRI'd it. It was negative. So Patrick Mahomes insists he's gonna play next week and you know he just kinda heals differently than everybody else. We already saw that with his with his kneecap a couple years ago. He's just and already playing through this type of injury. If Mahomes says he's gonna play, kinda believe him. At the Ryan Bartlett asks, will Lamar Jackson be a Raven next season? Here's the deal. 
I don't know what's going to change. So Lamar wanted a contract that's fully guaranteed. Ravens aren't willing to do that. I don't know where his demands are going to change. I don't know where they're going to acquiesce. So I don't see that happen. So what I think will happen is they'll franchise tag him. And then the question is, do they try and trade him? If they franchise tag him. I could see that happening. Because even if they franchise him, does Lamar say, okay, I'm going to come in and play? I don't know the answer to that. And Lamar, being his own agent, it's different. He's thinking about this differently than anybody else because he's just doing this by himself. So, you know, that's my issue. It's like, yeah, they're, they're saying all the right things that they want him back, but they want him back at a certain price and a certain structure that Lamar Jackson doesn't want, and he wants it fully guaranteed. I don't know if they can meet in the middle or not, so I can't answer the question until we see if either side is willing to bend at all. But if they do try to trade him, yeah, there's going to be teams certainly interested in him. Absolutely. You look at a team like the Jets, by the way. I'm just, listen, I'm playing a little fantasy football here right now. I'm not saying that that's who's going to get it. But a team like the Jets with the weapons they've lined up, if they can go out there, there's going to be a lot of quarterbacks in the market this year. But get a star quarterback, it's all they're missing right now, the Jets, to be legitimate contenders, I think. All right, folks, that's going to do it here for Hashtag Ask Glazer. We'll see you next week from Philadelphia.